According to the crew, my freighter was in this area when she disappeared. Ah, there she is. Take me in closer. But Mr. Mandrick, that is Island of Manakara. I don't care who owns the island. My freighter is down there. Say right, Mr. Mandrake. Prince belonged to Manakara. To Manakara? Then the pilot told me some crazy story about a giant named Manakara living on the island. Legend says when it gets angry, nothing is safe that gets in its path. The pilot told me this Manakara giant was responsible for all these accidents. There's no logical explanation, Matt. A monsoon, for instance, that explains what pulled the freighter ashore. Then it must have been the giant. Wow, I wish I could have been there. Well, I don't. One giant step, and I'd be just another pile of scrap metal. But, Stephen, your freighters have used that straight for years to transport cargo. Why did Monacara dip his fingers into this one? I don't know, Matt, but this platinum shipment was one of the biggest we've ever transported. And I've got an even bigger shipment of platinum that must go through. My entire business holdings are at stake. I need your help. Hmm. I've got some friends who might be interested in checking into this. I'll give them a call. Thanks, Matt. I'll arrange for them to stay in a house on the island. Don't worry. We'll get to the bottom of those footprints, Stephen. Oh, boy! Giant hunting! Just like Jack and the Beanstalk. You're full of beans if you think I'm going after some storybook character. Come on, T-Bob. There's no such thing as giants. That's right, T-Bob. There's got to be a logical explanation behind the Manakara legend. And Manakara. I just hope I don't turn into a shell of my former self. Talk about a king-sized bathtub. I wonder if Manakara plays with rubber ducks, too. Bring it up, Gloria. I want a closer look. Uh-oh. There's more here than a ship out of water. Look! Manakara! 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 I wonder if they're cannibals. You've got nothing to worry about. Huh? 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 Greetings, uh, Chief. Lovely day for a picnic. Must give to Manakara. 
giant from sea, angry, never come on land before. Tell me, Chief, did you see Manakara do this? No one ever see Manakara. Live in deep channel, guard island. Then how do you know the big boy really did this? Manakara take food. Watch. Oof. At least we know Manakara is not a junk food junk. He doesn't know what he's missing. What a large foot. He must have a hard time getting a pedicure. Hmm. It's going to be interesting putting these prints through the computer. But who made these prints? 90-pound weaklings? Sea turtles lay eggs this island first time. Before. Always lay eggs under full moon on other islands. It sure is strange these sea turtles and the ship pick the same night to find new diggings. My feelings exactly, Gloria. Let's see what we can find out on the computer. Come on, T-Bop. Let's go nose around and see if we can find any shells. <laughs> I know what we'll find. That giant's around here. I can feel it in my circuit. Whoops! Ah! Oh! Be careful, T-Bob. Ah, oh, don't worry about me. Seashells don't bite. Huh? Ah! Oh, sure. I suppose Manakara shrank overnight. But I did see Manakara. Hey, there's some more of those sea turtles. Sea turtles? Giants? This place has more characters than a bedtime story. Good idea, T-Bot. There'll be no shut-eye for us tonight. Because we're going to be right here watching when Monacara comes out. Oh, why don't we do something else instead? Like go home. We've tried everything, yet nothing makes sense. There's got to be something we missed. We know everything but Monacara's shoe size. Wait a minute. That's it. Monacara's footprint may tell us what really made those tracks. Boy, grown-ups sure get to stay up late. Ooh. Well, you're not grown-up. Let's go back to bed. Maybe Manakara came out already and went back to bed. <laughs> Manakara! <laughs> no! Sea turtles! Talk about a cloud! Hang on, Sea Bob! <laughs> they had me wedged in tighter than a turtle neck. Hey, what's going on? Something's pulling me into the water. Deep Bob! Scott, help me! Something's pulling me into the sea! Deep Bob, hold on! I can't, Scott! I'm in the middle of a taffy pull with the invisible man! I was right. According to this, those footprints didn't have any details on them, like real prints. 
Yeah, somebody's trying to fill the giant's shoes. Somebody with big feet, but who? Dad! It's Tebop, down by the beach. Manakara's got him. Manakara! Come on, let's find out who's impersonating a giant. Hurry, Gloria, before Tebop finds himself the blue plate special a la Manakara. This is it! This is where Manakara got T-Bob! T-Bob's homing signal! Good! We'll reel him in! Gloria, amphibious mode! We're going fishing for a robot! <laughs> Gee, Dad! Do you think T-Bob can hold his breath that long? Sure! He knows when to keep his mouth shut. Matt, T-Bob must have made that furrow over there. Something dragged him along the ocean floor. Something with a mouth like a vacuum cleaner. There's no trace of him. Ah! 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 What is it? Gloria! Hey, look! The instruments are going wild. And so is the shark. I, I can't control it. I still don't understand why you made us move the machine from the other island. Foolish female! Only the local people were fooled. That's why we moved the machine before investigators came. I'll continue the test. I want to make sure the machine wasn't damaged in the move. Love to. Here comes our bait now. All right! Working, it's working! Shut it off, Vanessa! Hey, what happened? We're not being pulled anymore! I've had enough! This crazy gadget of yours had better make us rich! Richer than yesterday, Rax! Soon the largest shipment of platinum ever will be going through, and we'll be ready! And the instruments have returned to normal. I bet whatever made them do a song and dance also pulled T-Bob. He's only a homing signal away. T-Bob! 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 Wake up! Is he gone? Is who gone, T-Bob? That despicable sea behemoth, of course. Then you did see Monocara. Oh, well, not exactly. But some strange force did pull me along the bottom, on my bottom. It stopped when I got here. And then you fainted. Can you think of a better way not to see the giant? Now I see what attracted T-Bob here. Some kind of magnetic device must be hidden somewhere in the jungle. That pulled T-Bob up onto the beach and us underwater. And the freighter onto the other island. Scott, you and T-Bob stay here where it's safe. Come on, Gloria. We'll pay Manakara a neighborly visit. What do you know? The scourge of the seven seas. Venom. It's Manakara's foot, all right. Too bad it's not in Mayhem's mouth. This is the magnetic device. Those loudspeakers must account for Monacara's laugh. No wonder those turtles lost their sense of direction, Matt. With Mayhem's machine calling the play. Yeah, their magnetic sensors went haywire, like the freighter. It's time to call in the team. ever stand still? Grab on, T-Bob. It's not dangerous. Yeah. Whoever said turtles were slow? 
But Dad sure is it. He and Gloria are already in the shark, waiting out there for venom. This time, there's no way we can get into trouble. Precisely on schedule. Rex, ready the machine. We're ready. No! Again. Well, it's about time those guys showed up. Mass! Their barrier is deflecting our magnetic beam. Turn off the machine. We're going in. We're safe. With a magnetic barrier, the ships can move on. I'll be right there. Venom. Let me ask. Let's go, Bruce. All right. I thought you said we weren't going to get into trouble this time. This time it's not my idea, and it'll be okay as long as we've arrived at this island. Ooh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> We're going to see the Manakara giant, the Venom Man. Wow! Out of sight, Venom, out of aim. Don't, Scott! Come on up here, T-Bob. This is fun. Oops! Somebody's operating my machine! Head for the barrier, Matt! goes the platinum shipment. The straits are safe once more. Right, Matt. Manakara's going to be sleeping in the channel for a very long time. Yeah. No more giants or magnets. Not so, T-Bob. When I grow up, I want to be just like Dad's friend, a shipping magnet. <laughs> <laughs> It was your fault. You didn't look where you were going. Hold it, you two. Always have your fire route mapped out in advance. Know where the exits are, and have a rope or chain ladder ready if you're on the second floor. Right, Dad. Knowing your escape route is like having built-in fire insurance. <laughs> <laughs> 